So that is a transmission cross member. This is actually the one that came out of that truck in which I feel like I should have three of these damn things in this backyard, but the only one I can find is this one. I swear we, we had one with the parts truck. I swear I took it off before we scrapped that thing. And I don't remember for sure or not, but I thought, remember whenever we first got this thing and the back was completely filled with parts, like a drive shaft, there's all kinds of shit. I could have swore there was also a cross member that came with this but i don't know the only one i can find is the one that went to my truck so the truck was a five speed this had a, a t5 in it a tremic five speed in the last video on the blazer one of you guys commented saying that you had swapped your s10 from a tremic five speed to a nv3500 and you didn't have to do anything to the transmission cross member that it it just fit everything bolted up so that's what i'm hoping is gonna go down here so i'd imagine since the blazer came automatic that the cross member was probably different in some kind of way so i'd more than likely be needing the one from the truck anyhow but that's what i'm wanting to do today to start off is we gotta get this thing underneath there and see if it's all gonna line up Ugh, my only problem is i won't fit underneath here i wanted to raise this thing up on the quick jacks but the problem is is i'm supporting the transmission with the jack because if i let that transmission actually just just hang don't stop freaking doing that man Stay. Stay. Ha <laughs> ha, you got a bolt in you now, motherfucker. We had gotten some rain and I needed to cover this up because I, I don't know, I just didn't want it to get rained on. This freaking thing keeps falling out, but I got a nut on the back of it now, so now I don't have to worry about it anymore, but I guarantee you, dude, this... This brake line's gotta be cracked somewhere. That thing has fallen out like five times. God, you know, where were we? So if I let that transmission just hang down there, it ends up hitting the, the intake manifold, hits the firewall back here. There's a very little bit of room. And I, I don't know, since the intake manifold is plastic, I really don't want all that weight being supported by it. What was my point of all this? Oh, it's one of those days already, man. Watch out for my camera, dude. You're gonna knock my camera on. Woo! Oh, that's in there. Yes, sir. That's a trans going deep right there, boy. Ooh, we got gapage now. Look at that. Holy shit. Reminds me of my ex girlfriend. All right, now we can pull this jack out. Uh -huh. I'm just messing with you. Oh, just messing with you. Oh, the poopers. Oh, the poopers. All right. Back to work. If you guys leave me alone, I got to get work done around here. <laughs> we got enough space for me to get my fat ass in here. Oh, 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 wow. Yep. Oh, yeah, that goes back. Okay. Oh my god. I seriously have this jack sitting on the mount, bro. On the mount. It's not on the casing where I had the other one before. It's on the mount. Mother foot shit. I don't think this is gonna work. I can already tell this one ain't gonna work. Nope. So this cross member has a flat side and then this side angles up and it would basically like bolt straight to the like this side bolts straight to the frame where this side sits on top of a section of the frame but this frame ain't like that it has a spot for it to sit on top on both sides so oh man well son of a rabbit hole all right i gotta get out of here shit i really do just barely fit oh my god <sighs> yes sir this frame is definitely different look at us learning shit that we could have figured out on freaking google if only we knew the right keywords huh anyhow i'm gonna go subframe searching in my backyard <laughs> 
Bro, I'm so stoked that I found this. Isn't that bad that you have so many parts in your parts corner that you can't find? This big ass freaking chunk of steel right here. Anyhow, this thing is filthy, dude. Like it is filthy. I'm sorry, buddy. You had a poor life, didn't you? Holy shit. much better so you guys see the difference of these <laughs> this is the one off the blazer that's the one off the truck and that's what i was talking about it needed two flat ends like this where that one has like a little whoop de doo so yeah at least now i can save that one for the truck because who knows maybe it might work i don't know and that thing does not line up at all bro like it lines up to the truck of course because that's where it came from but the actual transmission mount is in the front i've tried this thing both ways i had it in the other way to where this was pointing back and it had this bar right here all the way up here into the housing of the transmission so like it would have to sit in this configuration where this large bar kind of goes to the back position but it looks like this honestly needs to be on the front then in order to reach our mounting area of the transmission i don't know we're definitely gonna have to cut that off and we're definitely gonna have to weld something up bang bang Spot my bottle out and I ran by O'Reilly's and I grabbed us a new transmission mount, bro. Yeah, I figured to actually get the placement of this transmission, we might want the mount, you know what I'm saying? I also had to grab a box of nuts because I don't have this one nut right here. But good lord, look at that zinc coating on there! <laughs> yeah. I think I got some improving to do. <laughs> Anyhow, I did order the brightener and the stuff that I need to improve the zinc coating setup. I'm wanting to be able to do that quality of zinc coating and I'm not gonna give up till we do, man. Who knows, if I get the process down pat, I might be able to offer it as a service. You know what I'm saying? Zinc coating by the pound. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this thing cut off of here and I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to reuse it though. So it just basically needs to come to this side. Might need to shorten it or something or maybe take a notch out of this, I don't know. But I wanna get this cut off first and then we'll figure it out. Got that factory weld knocked off and i went ahead and grinded all the paint off all the way around because honestly i don't know where this thing's gonna land so the idea is to bolt this up in there and then i have the transmission mount bolted up to our little bracket and i just got to kind of hold this up to the transmission and try to figure out exactly where this thing's got to be you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh God. come on toby what is your problem dude? you're all in my face man what why is it like instant? As soon as a human goes on the ground, you're like, ah, you're mine. You're all mine. Okay, get out of here. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. It's dangerous, man. It's it's dangerous, Toby. It's dangerous underneath here. He's like, bro, I live underneath here. What you talking about? All right, go, 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 go. I'm sorry. I don't I don't mean to be mean, but I need to work. I need to work, Toby. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. Puppers, you too. Get out of here. All right, so problems in paradise. I have the jack, uh, well, I have the transmission jacked as high up as it'll go. Like, just so I can get this in and out of here. You know what I'm saying? And now, like, with the transmission where it's at, this won't even fit in here. And the transmission needs to come down a little bit. At least an inch. Jesus. So, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Definitely needs a lot more than just moving this thing around like I was hoping, so. I kinda wanna try is to take this back out and you see how these ends are pinched? So this is basically like a tube that's bent, bent, and then the ends are pinched to bolt down right there. 
I'm kind of wondering if I could pinch the center. What I'm going to try is to go ahead and cut it here and here, but not all the way through. I just want to cut the top section and leave the bottom section intact. And then whenever I go and try to squish it, we'll kind of try to get this circle to smush over this way and then flatten it. You know what I'm saying? And then instead of just squishing it this way, and then it's going to get wider, like centralized it's going to get wider if we slice it i can kind of hammer it in that direction to get all this mass to kind of push over and flatten onto itself but then it will actually squish like that direction basically extending it to the point to where we won't have to add a tab on right there in order to get that center bolt for the for the mount i don't know if me trying to put this into words is making sense i'll just show you guys <laughs> Please tell me that I can't get out one, but I failed, but I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts. Hey, 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 perfect timing there, buddy. For what? Stop to the sound on that for me. Which one? The end. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god. Dude! That's your, like that, that's our family name right there that you're throwing at, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, why would you take your foot off when I'm swinging? Because <laughs> I, I, I thought you were taking a break for a second. I need to put more weight on that. Oh, that was my freaking toe! I'm not that heavy, man! You what are you, like 90 pounds? <laughs> Good freaking lord! It was waist up. <laughs> You're taking it. It's the other All way. Right, let me try to go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My whole truck is lifted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little truck. The Suburban doesn't even fill it. All right, I think that'll work. <laughs> I decided I don't like it. Man, I've been working on this thing for so long, I completely forgot I was even making a video, bro. I had to go looking for my camera, but this is what I got so far. Uh, just let you guys know, this thing's not done, but it bolts up. So this will bolt up to the truck and the transmission bolts up there. Like it's ready to go, you know what I'm saying? But I do want to close these in, and then I also want to add a gusset, like probably going in this direction. I don't know, I'll figure that out later, but for the time being, it's basically ready to be bolted in. So I'm gonna get underneath there and I'm gonna bolt it all up test fit it for one last time make sure that you know nothing moved welding it or whatever and then we get to take everything back out all right there it is uh, i didn't actually tighten the bolts down because i told you guys how much of a pain in the ass these things are but especially with it on the quick jacks it's hard to get in there so i have the bolts slid in to where it's in place on both sides and there's our center bolt for the mount but yeah, like I said, it's not done. I do want to notch it. So I'm going to notch it from where the mount sits over here like that. And then I want to close this in and put a gusset in it to where the center right here is a little bit stronger. But I mean, it probably don't even really need it because that is quarter inch freaking angle iron. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out now because now we got to get all that back out of our way. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tubby? So got the engine and everything out last night. We had a rainstorm come through, so I went ahead and I switched up our workstation. This is the first time this thing's ever been inside of the garage. So we have accomplished to mount up the engine, to get the transmission mounted, got the hole for the shifter done, and we got the cross member for the transmission figured out. So now, moving on, we need to get that pedal assembly in here. Run right out here to this extra cab that I have. Luckily, I still have the master cylinder. Doink, doink. So, this is what it is we need to install in the blazer. 
Cause this is what's going to hook up to clutch pedal. So it has the rod that comes all the way in. All the nuts are on there. Nice. Hell yeah. Definitely excited that we still have this. Oh my God, bro. I told you we're, we're <laughs> told you we had a rainstorm. Good Lord. I need to get this area out here covered so freaking bad. Anyhow, this is what we need to make a hole in the firewall for is for this. So the truck has it right here. So what I'm going to do is use some tape. You guys know I normally use transfer paper for this type of thing. Transfer paper would actually work marvelous right now, but I don't have any. It's all at Gabby's house because all the merch stuff is over there. In which I never plug my merch, so deadbeatgarage.com. Link is in the description down below if you guys want to get yourself anything that's on there. We have a bunch of leftover stuff that we're trying to sell out, but we do have new merch coming here very soon. Anyhow, since I don't have any transfer tape, I'm going to go ahead and just use regular masking tape, and I'm going to cover this entire area and basically try to make a rubbing of this right here because this is on the blazer, and then of this piece that we need to cut out. So then I could pull this off, take it to the blazer, hopefully get this to line up, and it'll show us exactly where we need to cut these holes at. Well, that actually helped quite a bit to line that thing up, bro. Yo, big brains only, bro. What you do, bro? Big brains only. Yeah, the, the truck out there definitely didn't have uh, cruise control. That's what this like vacuum line and this plug right here is for, is for the cruise control. I already mentioned in another video that we're gonna be removing this because I'm not gonna reuse all that shit. It kind of crowds my hole that I got to cut right there. But, I mean, there's room. Anyhow, there it is. All lined up. And now I'm just going to take a can of spray paint and hit that. And then we'll have our area marked that we have to cut out. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that area down a little bit. Just in case there's any grease or oil or anything, you know, that's going to stop the spray paint from staying on there very well while we're cutting. Oh yeah. All right, so I wanna make us a little bit of room right here before we start drilling this out because I, I want full access to this thing. I wanna get it right, you know what I'm saying? So for starters, this cruise control harness and all that that's sticking out right here, I followed that through the firewall. Coming around in here underneath the dash, that is all of this right here that we're gonna be able to get rid of out from underneath this dash, bro. This went to this switch right here, and when I was taking the steering column out, this switch fell apart and it broke, and I was kinda like, dude, what the hell? Hell is that thing for damn it it's just another one of those things i guess i'm gonna have to figure that out later right but it turns out that that switch was for the cruise control so we don't need it anyway as for the rest of this stuff like one of these was running up to the fuse box this was plugging in to something i don't know uh this was a ground like all this stuff i was able to just unplug because we don't need any of it so now i can just pull this guy out come on you can do it buddy Hell yeah. Cruise control, delete. Oh yeah. That opened up some space right here for sure. Now I'm thinking about maybe just removing the master cylinder for now, the, the brake booster and everything, just so I can get in here a little easier. I mean, oh, we're not stripping today, boys. <whistles> no, no, stop dripping everywhere, you mother oh baby we got room for days now all right time to grab the drill and the unibits probably the jigsaw maybe the grinder saws all all of them it's gonna bring them all out our weapons of choice is a drill with a 30 bit for making our pilot holes and a combination of unibits small and large a jigsaw for connecting the dots Hey, 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 hey. 
Ha 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 Oops. No way, carpet. All right, carpet. That's it. I'm coming for you. So the jigsaw is gonna beat the living hell out of that firewall. I always, I keep forgetting that I even have a damn Dremel. I'm trying to find the attachment though to put my little cutting wheels on it. Not too shabby, bro, but I do say so myself. One hell of a rod you got there, buddy. Soink. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Dude, that's freaking sick. So this thing's also got a gasket on it. Come on, give it back. Give it. Give it, give it back. Thank you. Yeah, so this thing's also got a gasket on it, which is nice. Now we get to put our pedal assembly in there. So you guys see, so this is the manual pedal assembly with the clutch. This is the one that we took out that only has a brake pedal. So do you see these two rods that come down right here? Aside from the fact that this also has a clutch pedal, that's the only other difference is it has these two rods that come down. And those two holes right there, that actually goes to the bolting point for that master cylinder we just put in. So those two studs that slide through, these go on the other end before you put the nuts on. So that's what actually braces that section of the firewall, which is freaking dope. I'm definitely stoked about that. That's one of the things that I worried about, about just drilling the hole in the firewall and adding the uh, the master cylinder. I was thinking that this was probably double layered or, or braced somehow back here to be strong. Longer. But no, that's just all built into the pedal assembly. What are you looking at there, buddy? Well, that's a little bit better than what it was, right? Okay, I know. It, it doesn't look any better. Well, but I've got another problem. Once again, I can't put this damn pedal assembly in, dude. So those two bolts on the master hold this pedal assembly in. And then the brake booster, those four bolts for the brake booster hold the pedal assembly in. All of the things that I am not ready to put back in the truck. Well, I mean, I could mock this thing up in there and just put these bolts in there to kind of hold it but I mean what's the point dude I'll tell you what the point is I don't want to put the master cylinder on and I also don't want to put the brake booster on yet because we need to spray this firewall I'm going to be doing that this week I need to continue removing some stuff and get this all cleaned up get all this old freaking RTV and stuff off of this firewall and we got to get it painted before I go and put everything back on because I just I don't want my firewall to stay blue while the rest of the damn blazer is this green color so all the things that hold the pedal assembly on, I don't want to put on right now. <laughs> yeah, you too, buddy. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We made some progress once again, got the hole cut. Now we are actually able to install our master cylinder. We have gotten basically everything that we need to get done in order to switch this blazer from an automatic over to a manual, except for one thing now. This transmission needs a throw out bearing. I've also got to get a clutch, man. So if any of you guys know exactly what clutch it is that I should be getting, because I am, I have done research and research and research online, and it seems like people are having to use a flywheel from this vehicle and a clutch kit from this vehicle, but the clutch disc from this vehicle. It's like all over the place. So if anybody knows exactly how to put a NV3500 onto LS, exactly what clutch it is that I would need, please do share it in the comments down below or message me on one of my social media flat platforms because uh, I need to get that clutch ordered because I really want to, after we get this engine bay painted and all that stuff, well, the firewall painted, I want to get the engine and all that stuff in there for the final time, you know what I'm saying? But we need a clutch and we need a flywheel wheel and we need to throw out bearing in that transmission before we can do that so yeah once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do smash the like button peace out and i'll see you guys on the next one